to hold and nearly had it. But Moore grabs it. <laughs> Moore inside. Whip around past the towns an easy layup. Yeah, nice job. He's developed late, so he's got a really good future ahead of him. Jamal Kane, the Horizon League Co-Player of the Year, Lantman, 4-3, of course. For three semesters. He's got me, a, right. Yeah, he's got a double as also the team tutor. That, that's yeah. big time. <laughs> here comes Jamal on the other end. No look dish. Micah Parrish, who scored here with you in the arena. The Keeps Horizon League Championship. I like the pace by Oakland. Wow. And there's perfect. We just have to keep playing our game, guys. Jamal Kane gets to the cup and lays it up and in with the left hand. He's got nine points in four rebounds 13 and a half left yeah and if you're IUPUI you just want to hang around and there's a knockaway by Micah Parrish to Osei Price Jaguar starting to grab the bottom of those shorts right now <laughs> BJ Maxwell to Persia both of them inside 10 minutes got 14 with five rebounds right wing three off the glass that will not fall Jalen Moore with a rebound crosses over his give him some life that's the Persia's first points in the game. Now all five IUPUI Jaguars have scored. Really drains you when your body starts to wear down. Six seconds left. Here's Kane kicking it out, but Jamo comes away with it. Golden Grizzlies, one of their last seven from the floor, but that's a good answer to that stat. Just get the ball to come over and just nice, beautiful Euro step to get that shot off. Back and forth we go, Vikings up by one. Lampman, corner three. And Chris Conway, the freshman, comes down with it. If Purdue Fort Wayne's gonna get back, so they only have one guy. Fort Wayne 13 and six in league play, Golden Grizzlies 11 and six. And missing those two games due to COVID, really hurting Oakland right now. Kane, pull up jumper pure. Welcome back inside the arena, Golden Grizzlies inbound the basketball. Our sideline reporter, Daniela Bruce, was in the huddle as Blake Lampman fires up a three, of course. 2v1, boy, and Micah Parrish comes back and simply took the ball away. Well, I like the full court press, but I also like the recovery. Chonk Wee, left wing three, that pops out. Kane with the board. Lampman left side, step back three, launches, buries it. Planuda, six of eight from three, he's got 18. That was good defense, just better offense. Pair, the layup won't go. A yeah, nice pass, nice run. Just didn't come, just came up empty at the end. Jalen Moore finds Jamal Kane. I like to call him Nelson and Brandon. Pretty much the same guy out there on the floor. They are hungry to get rebounds. And there's Chris Conway in the middle. It's the way it works, Rex. When you get three cracks at it, four cracks at it, you're going to score. Yeah, Brandon's so quick off the floor. That's a big-time battle between him and Jamal Kane, two of the best. Strong with the shot. Jalen Moore hesitates and blows by his man. Bounce past Trey. Corner three. Oh. Those are shots that can kind of change momentum a little bit for Northern Kentucky. Kane catches. 4-3. Oh! to prepare for baseline out of bounds, both offense and defense. Ever since his days at Western Kentucky, that's something you always have to really be ready for if you're okay. And it can kind of get you to stand and watch as opposed to just continue to move. Parrish muscles his way in and Parrish with an offensive rebound. There's Jamal Kane shaking free and scoring. What a Parrish just takes it away. As good as Nelson's been on the offensive glass, that was a big turnover. Parrish steps into the three. Oh. You see a great block there by Trey Townsend on the help on Grant Basile and Oakland going down the other way. Here comes Moore. Outside an open look. Calvin split the double team, turned it over. The steal by Lampman. And Oakland looking to be more aggressive defensively. Certainly a matchup to keep an eye on as this game goes forward. I wouldn't expect a guy like Jamal Kane to stay too quiet for too long. Parrish wide open from eight in the midst of his six-game win streak. Absolutely, yeah. It looked for a while there like Memphis was really, really struggling. And give credit to Penny Hardaway and his staff. Go on to the NBA, including Kendrick Nunn. So how many other programs around the country can make that kind of play? Here's Lambin Looking against the zone as well. It's Picked off. Parrish comes up with it. Open look for Lampman. 
body on Townsend. And right now, of course, two possessions. Colonials don't even put a body on, near him. Six to shoot. Give up inside and a cheeks. Trying to wrap it around. That one with good hands and a steal by Chris Conway of Oakland. They push it up the floor to Brandon Stone. They got nicked and then intercepted. And the Grizzlies come up the floor with Jalen Moore. Kane outside. Got the. Here's Moore with a handoff to Kane. Yeah, you got uh, Chase Cook trying to cover Kane now. Watch, uh, he'll post him up. There it is. Oh! Up a mark that time. Yeah. Trey Townsend gets a rebound easily. And one thing that's favoring Robert Moore is Jamal Kane is on the bench getting a breather right now. But Lampman's hands and Oakland comes the other way wearing the black and gold. Here comes Moore. Kick out to the corner. Parrot. Amazing what confidence will do for you. And what he did, he hit that couple threes in a row. And you could just see him perk up. Nice give and go inside. They kick it back out. It's Jalen Moore. Set. Shot clock at two. Cheeks had a force. It had hit the rim. But the carom comes down to Micah Parrish. And Oakland is back in bed. Greg Campy directing traffic from the far side. And Moore cutting down. Surely had that rebound. It should not have been a turnover. Jalen Moore bouncing backwards. Moore one on one out front now with 15 to shoot to the left wing. Makes the bounce pass on the baseline to Jamal Kane, who goes up. Got it. No good. In game one, he hit six threes against YSU. Rebound to Allison. Into the lane. Had the ball knocked loose by Moore. Leads it down the floor to Kane. Loose for a deuce. Right of the lane. Fade away. Eight footer. Good. Michael Akuche now with seven points for YSU. And they lead 26 23. And into the second half. A ton of time left in this one. Oakland will not go away. You know that. They're coming at him. Kane, right of the lane. Fadeaways on. Gives some more. Into the forecourt to the right wing, fires the ball to Price. Goes left baseline to the basket, dropped in two. All right, Moore will jog into the forecourt. Picked up by Rattan Mays. Moore near the center circle. Angles to the right wing, hooks the ball underneath. Wide open, Jamal. Probably more important, YSU has 16 fouls with less than six minutes into the second half. Moore, Moore gives to Kane, who goes reverse side. Moore directing traffic for Oakland. Wants Lampman to head to the corner. Gives him the ball. Catch and shoot. Now steps to his left. Wide open. Three is good. Can't give Lampman. He can shoot it from there. Ball goes back to Moore now. Swings to Parrish near side of the floor. Top side to Moore with 15 to shoot. Moore fires ball to Lampman. Far corner for three. Getting into the game now. Here's a three attempt again by Lampman. Now it's Moore with the ball out front. Working against Calvin. Short corner, Townsend, he gets away. Moore going to go one-on-one -on -one against Norris. Taking the ball inside, flips the ball into the corner. Price wide open for three, and he's good. Teams will show a zone defense in this game, and we were talking about this in our uh, production meeting. It seems like every team in this league is playing a zone right now. It's just forces Parrish to kind of lose it and not able to finish on the offensive end. Moore has it now. He'll go right side. A long three-point shot is good. We didn't get credit for an assist there, obviously, but that was a great bullet pass. Good look. Let's see what he can do now. Instead, he'll find Price on the perimeter, and he not credit Jalen Moore with being the reason why. Here's Kane. Turn around inside the arc, and he gets the weak side rebound. Yeah, but a big-time move there from Townsend. I know he wasn't able to hit it, but you can just see how talented he is playing. He's got great footwork with his back to the basket. Northern Kentucky with a one-point lead after trailing most of the game. Price for three, and he Kentucky leads by seven, but Oakland has the ball. They get it inbounded to Price. Now it's Moore. Over to Parrish for three field goal attempts. He was a workhorse. He is a workhorse, and this was a great catch. Very, very rarely does Jalen Moore throw passes off the body. Great catch, and was ready. This zone has done a good job too for for you. Oh man! And right as you say that, Trey Townsend season. You have to go reverse if you're UIC. Like keep shooting, keep shooting, stay aggressive because those are all good looks that just aren't dropping. There's King getting to the rim, glass, and scores it. And UIC is back within seven. A nice move by Kevin Johnson. Nice shot fake. Got to his left hand. Wow. Jamal off the floor quickly and high. 
always getting good looks when he gets to his mid-range. UIC has the lead. Trey Townsend at the elbow. His of course, Franklin had to come out of the basketball game. Oakland used that to their advantage. There's Trey Townsend with a catch and a bucket with the left. I'll say Price tracks that ball down. Diggins did well to poke it away. Jalen Moore hesitates, drives, kicks. Price, big three. Oh. Create that space. There's Jamal came with it again. This time he does the handoff to Jalen Moore. Jamal gets it back. He'll fire the three. Oh. Tucker to Newsom out to the left side. There's Ivory with it. Looking in, ball tipped away. That's another turnover. And Oakland had his shot misses. Moore has it into the front court. Moore, nice pass and made a three. Final shot. Seven seconds. Moore starts to walk, looking to pass. Three seconds. Lob pass underneath and another slip. Underneath the basket, Jalen Moore. Moore looking, finds Kane at the basket. He lays it in. That was too easy. Game. Moore defended by Ivory. Walks to the top, now bounces underneath. Nice pass for Townsend, and a better job by Townsend. This is Jalen Moore handing off to Kane, the always dangerous player. Now Moore goes underneath to Townsend, spins, puts up a tough shot. Seven on the shot clock. Here's McGee, fakes left, goes right, good move. Gets to the free throw line, pops a shot from there. Tried to use the glass, too strong. Moore grabs the rebound. He might go coast to coast. No, he's going to. with his second three so far. And you can see him finding the opposite skips in the zones open right now. And uh, Purdue Fort Wayne's done a nice job being able to get that. It was, he averages 16 a game coming off of, for his standards, a subpar performance with only nine on Thursday versus Detroit Mercy. Downs play. Greg Campy instructing Kane next time. Pipkins all over Moore. The shovel pass. Townsend, 27th all time meeting. Pick and roll. of glass you've got to put bodies on people to secure that rebound you know just four seconds left on the shot clock Trey Townsend pulls up elbow jumps it to Conway yeah you've got to make quick decisions when you're in the corner if you're in Milwaukee because they're coming to trap and swarm you Conway free throw line he has to have a lot of confidence after the last game that's true he was really one of the bright spots versus Detroit 
There's Trey Townsend getting to the right of the Detroit Pistons. So it's all kind of come full circle. There's Trey Townsend into the paint, muscles it up and in, and to go. Yeah, big shot for them. You, I had that as a win for Oakland because the ball never touched the paint, but a big shot. Parrish three, of course. Jalen Moore, the bounce pass to Trey Townsend. Who oh, Sims finally collects it and fills it up. He never had solid possession of that basketball until he shot it in. Here comes Kane to the rim. 2-3 zone here by Milwaukee, trying to change the momentum a little bit. Jalen Moore drops it off, and Will Shepard will lay it up. Good run out by Vin Baker, Jr. 36-22, Golden Grizzlies with the lead. Lampman three. This one is per. He's really long, so all of a sudden you think you got a quality shot, it comes right back in your face. And here's Kane facing up, mid-range jumper, perfect over front rim. And Micah Parrish with the board, and Jalen Moore zooms up the floor. Parrish step, comes down with the board, he holds his ground. A yeah, good position defense there by Trey Townsend. Make him shoot a shot over the top. Jamal Kane, full up jumper. Make sure, make sure your weak side and your guard are getting back. Trey wow. Townsend catches a bullet from Jalen. Shot clock at 10 as it reset to 20 after the offensive rebound. Lob play. Alley oop, Jamal. Get us some rebounds. That'll be uh, interesting to watch here the rest of the evening. Golden Grizzlies at 50%. Robert Morris at 73%. Trey the refs are really going to give you, uh, you know, some fouls early on. You got to give them a little bit of space. That's that's Jalen Moore, baby. And there's Trey Townsend. Welcome back to Horizon League basketball. The Horizon League comprised of 12 public and private universities in major cities all across the Midwest. The more we see him. Getting the kick out and just in step, taking that step in, knocking it down. And there's a steal by Jalen Moore with Jamal Kane, two on. Morris mid-range jumper, that's too strong. Kane snatches another rebound just like that. He's got eight and four now, and here we go for Jamal Kane. He's got the basketball in the... I'll say Price again, this time will drive. He's cut off. Jalen Moore, the bounce pass to Trey. But Jamal Kane says that's enough of this. And he will just grab the rebound. That pass up ahead. Trey Townsend catches and lays it up and in. Yeah, he's had a couple of opportunities where he's just had great box outs against Spear on his back, and he's just moving his feet, doing a great job. Jamal K. In almost two and a half minutes. Golden Grizzlies in the meantime on a 13-2 run. Let's take them to this lead. 
Shepard has it on the right wing. Gets a screen from Jamal Kane. Lampman out. He'll fire the line. State. Spartans with the early lead. Here's Jalen Moore stepping back. Jamal Kane, right wing three. Yes. Yeah, we don't want to make this a jump contest if you're Oakland. You want to put bodies on people. And like I said, gang rebound. Parrish, long three. Jamo again stepping back. Parrish catches it on the block. You get that ball to the high post. I call it the sweet spots of that zone. And then start the attack. Jamal Kane, left wing three. He the Golden Grizzlies get the stop they needed. Kane again. Three more. Oh. Zion in the right corner. He'll fire up the three. Leaves that one off the front of the rim. And Oakland gets the offensive rebound. Kane will drive to the rim. Lead of the night here at 67-52. Jalen Moore drives and kicks. Townsend, three. Phil yeah. next Christie. Like what we're seeing so far from him. Yeah, he's a talented young man, just a really good player. Knows how to make you make mistakes. And when he shoots it like, ooh. There's an alley you get the whistle. into the paint. He goes up in the left hand. He does get the whistle. State, they got both their point guards in. They got more ball handling on the floor. Parrish, corner three. Rattles it through. Coach K. 214 is an eternity. A big time turnover. No clock. No time went off the clock. Oh. Oh, and Trey Townsend was all to his left. One of Bowling Green's best outside shooters over the last couple of seasons has just been cold throughout the early part of this season. And like we said, he can occasionally go to that perimeter, which is a useful tool when he finds himself open like he did there. Jamal Kane. Jalen Moore out to the corner. Third triple for Kane. You got it. Falcons extending their defense. Parrish. It's a good look for Lampman. You break the press. You get it. Diggs is follow through there. It's hard to argue the officials call there. Inside, Micah Parrish. And here from the baseline, knocking it down. Back to the action here inside the Stroh Center. Three. IUPUI has begun the game three for nine from the field, missing a couple of threes. Well, it's a nice little play in, in bounds. You get the shot you wanted and the guy you wanted. Just do a right place, right time. But I'll tell you what, he's doing great just on the catch and shoot in the uh, lane. He has four. They go back the other way. It's always good to, I think, for a team to see some success out of that call timeout. No question. Same corner, different result. <laughs> when I brought it up. <laughs> Stanton missing that. Just to say it. That three-point shot out of the left side. Neither team has been great from the three-point side. He was open, yeah, could have turned I love the idea. Up. Love the idea. Just execute. execute. For sure. And I think what you'll see now is I think Oakland will take some time on possessions. Be in no hurry. A great cut. Just an a easy great, flush right well. there. That's right. I mean, you can you can you don't go at practice and you and there's repetition, but at the end of the day, you got to believe you can make the shot. Townsend works his way in and scores up here in the first half. Here comes Moore inside the cane for the flush. A good recognition there by, by Diggins. First look to the corner, nobody was on him, turn around, and a nice little teardrop from him. I believe that shot's going to be open as well. So be able to get better with that big forward here throughout the season. Yeah, you can't shy away from the contact, right? I mean, yeah, it, part, part of basketball is going to be physicality, and, and Oakland, uh, another made. Flying one-hander by Warren, it goes for not. Rebound Moore. You got to stop the ball here. There's another three. Another Heat three. Heat. Yeah, I mean. That really yeah. tells the story. Yeah, it tells it? the story. Yeah. It, it tells the story, and it puts a lot of pressure on your defense. And, you know. 45-32. Grizzlies. Again, again, remember I mentioned in the first half, score on the offensive end, you got to get a stop on the defensive end. You can't trade back here. A little bit of a up fake and go to the basket. Patience comes in all forms. Flames within 10. 
Townsend, layup is good. Townsend has Premier Nelson Jr. is a guy that can really fly high. He's looking like, like 10 years ago, Kelsley Wilkinson. Here's Kane inside for two. He's, and as you mentioned, Cam, they, they don't have much turnover from that game as Moore comes away with the interception, drops it off for Parrish. Letting him play down there, that makes this a fun meeting. Kane, Kelsley most of the way in this first half. Yeah, no doubt about it. And then again, it's, it's all about their defense. Their defense ability has, has definitely been showcasing as they control again, playing off two feet. You're able to control your body a lot more and, and he's a really good two foot jumper. And it's making him very successful. Price was correct. I know that the Oakland faithful would agree. Now they probably want me off. <laughs> <laughs> Over the top, and as soon as I came back, Delaware seemed like they have a little life about themselves. Over the spot that needs to step up a little bit more for Delaware to have a legitimate shot. And then Allen again, he's been kind of quiet as well. I think he only has two points here in the second half. See if Delaware try to string this thing out. Oakland can basically run the clock out. Tried to give the foul on Moore. Instead, Young goes up. Thirty-eight. I was thinking 37 in my head. I said 27. But yeah, he's been there for a very long time, and he definitely has uh, credibility. Blue guy on this Oakland roster. He does all the dirty work as he comes up with the strip right there on Darius Miles. Follows it up with a three-pointer. Body, fundamental player. Good skill set on the inside out. Jamal Kane. I should get a chance to look at Jamal Kane's athleticism.
what hurt Oakland in that loss in Morgantown. As they you know, part of shot blocking too, Mike, obviously is the timing. Kicks it out, free from the wing. And one thing Campy was concerned about is obviously he didn't want to track me tonight. And so far, open. Teams are going to do this with him. They're not going to just let him sit back and protect the rim on defense. They're going to bring him away from the basket, which takes. Virginia. Oh, for their last five. It's a 7-0 run for Oakland. Dished inside. Tied and deflected well. That was Chris Conway getting a piece of it for Oakland. Townsend, good look, good second half. A real outlier for Jalen Moore, who starts out our second half with the ball. Had 14 points in the exhibition against Eastern Michigan. 15-12 to go, second half. And a nice spin. And you know how this is going to work, Rex. Jalen Moore led the nation in assists last year. It's going to run through him. Yeah, he's really good in pick and roll. And he just finds people and get, just like that, right there. The referee. What Jalen does, he does a great job with the shot fakes to get guys to come out of stance and create contact. Jamal came from threes off the glass, won't go down. Good strong rebound from Chris Conway. Here's Jalen Moore kicking right corner three up three points three boards Six points and six rebounds at Central Michigan Lantman thought about the three fires a three up one Conway spinning with it working up working under and scoring Boy he went to walk to the free throw line right see if they fall for it. He's really smart very intelligent Yeah, we, we want to get two free ones <laughs> Here's Kane in the paint. A lot of NCAA tournament bursts between these two guys. No question. Lampman, tough 